so uh, my name is Dustin and uh, I got rather excited about something uh, that I figured out how to do well after reading hours and hours of uh, documentation on uh, online about how to boot from LAN you might ask what is booting from LAN okay well I didn't really know what that was either until about two days ago but I noticed that in the boot options on my computers and here's the here's the problem I uh, wow what a long pause there <clears throat> I have a laptop that uh, took a shit pretty much it took a shit on itself. Uh, it hard drive crashed. I couldn't repair the master boot record. Nothing. I had to freaking wipe it. Yeah, I wiped it because it took a shit. Yeah, with virtual toilet paper. So <clears throat> anyway, uh, please en enjoy this graphic by Daniel Simon while I'm talking. That's uh, 3D. Anyway, so back on track. I have a tendency to go off track. Many people close to me know what I'm talking about. Plus, it's 2 in the morning. So anyway, uh, this is not a comedy routine. This is a tutorial. Let me get back on track here. <clears throat> so anyway, my laptop took a dump. Uh, I didn't have a Windows recovery CD. Actually, I do. No, I, did, I don't have a 32-bit one. I have a 64-bit recovery CD. That's not helping me out a lot. Uh, I don't have a DVD either. <clears throat> so, I've got a, a copy of Windows 7 on the uh, computer that you're looking at right now in the main screen uh, over the network so anyway I've read <clears throat> a few things online and uh, the, the best best one is this uh, the best article is this one called is by Ron superuser.com and this is about how to use a nifty little program I just popped up here called TFTPD32 and here's the author here I want to bow down to him tell him how much he's helped me because <clears throat> anyway there's a lot of settings on here that you have to get exactly right uh, first off this computer that this is running on has to have a static IP address so let's go in here look at adapter settings uh, let's see here IP4 so we've got this set up as a static IP address uh, if you notice my IP address is within the uh, starting IP address and I can have a maximum of, of 10 IP addresses that this computer is uh, using as DHCP. Uh, we've got this set up as static IP and one thing I noticed you cannot access the internet with a static IP unless you go into these this advanced settings and set default gateway as your router IP address. That was just something I stumbled across. You know, I said, "Oh, maybe I'll try this. Maybe I'll put," because that's what it is. Is your your gateway is always your router if you have one. So I went ahead and added that in, and voila! Now I've got a static IP with, um, uh, and I can access the internet, which I need to to know how to do this shit. All right, just hit no. Uh, we're use that is the properties of uh, IP4, IPv4. Don't even worry about IPv6. Okay, so we're on 
So now, this boot file, I have no idea what that is. But I was told by this guy here, that's what you put in. All right, I'm not a genius, I just know how to figure shit out. Uh, DNS server is going to be your, uh, figured out as your router as well, and default router of course is your router. Uh, mask is always, this is always mask, okay. And up here, server interfaces, this is the IP address of my computer. So, from current directory, you want that to be a frickin' dot. I don't really know why, well, know why, because we're running out of, let's see, start computer, C, TFT boot, there it is. This is where this program is running out of. CTFTP boot and what that means is that dot is accessing the root directory which is C okay so oh I know here we go let's go back into uh, C drive C TFTP boot okay so boot file um, hold on a second I am freaking recording right yeah <clears throat> so this is what it is Is this is saying this up here this is the root and then the, it's going to search for the boot file boot which is in the boot folder and then pxe boot.com is this file right here which is a MS DOS application cool got this running correctly so now uh -uh. yeah sorry that was my uh, email my buddy Rob sending me an email. So here's the instructions I follow. Okay. And we're going to have something magical happen here. So I'm going to hit uh, control, delete, restart. Now I've done this uh, successfully one time already. So I know I'm going to hit F10 on this laptop here. This is going to bring up the boot menu, boot the LAN. Now within a certain amount of seconds when it tells me to hit F12, I have to hit F12. There we go. Now if you also notice now we are transferring a file from, uh, from this computer. got to wait a little bit. What we're going to be doing is okay right here receiver machine this is what I'm going to hit on my laptop <clears throat> okay so if you notice that IP address at the bottom is the IP of my main computer at the bottom of uh, the laptop window 1.5 uh, we're loading files right now onto the laptop and we'll come back once we're done loading files and if you notice, see, look at that, I love I love progress bars. You see this uh, IP address up here? Apparently this is the IP address that this computer handed out to the laptop. So it's acting as its own DHP, DHCP server. You, To eliminate issues, 
you should uh, disable yeah we'll go ahead and check it out let's go to D let's see D link <clears throat> Go to set up network settings. Best thing to do is disable the DHCP server in your router because uh, the laptop or the computer that you're setting the um, setting up Windows on is is going to detect two DHCP servers your computer that you have this program running on and the uh, the router so for now I've disabled that as DHCP <clears throat> and we'll, we'll be back <clears throat> alright we're almost done here pretty much uh, okay transfer is done I'm going to be doing exactly what this says I'm gonna be uh, I'm gonna get this prompt right here X Windows system 32 X is the uh, okay so we've got the prompts on my laptop and uh, waiting for one more prompt here. There we go. <clears throat> so I'm going to type mit use z backslash backslash one nine two this is the IP address of the main computer that the Windows image file is stored on one six eight dot one dot five also so pretty much we're referencing my main computer over here but we also have to reference the uh, the folder that the uh, Windows image is in, oops, which this folder has to be a shared folder on the main computer. All right, so uh, <clears throat> okay, so now it's saying enter the username, and what's funny is, is you have to enter the uh, IP address first again 192.168. Dot one dot five backslash uh, Dustin. Okay, and the password. Complete it successfully. Okay. Now, what it's telling us is, this is where I almost got lost. But it says, navigate over to the new directory Z and fire away. <laughs> what the hell does that mean, right? So, I know that uh, when you navigate to a new directory in DOS, pretty much, you go Z, we want to run off of Z, colon, backslash, hit enter. Okay. Oh, that's right. Z colon. There we go. Not the backslash. So now we're on the Z directory, which is the pretty much the directory. Pretty much this means I am in the Windows 7 setup folder. Now I'm like, okay, well, what do I do from here? Well, I remember from, I don't know, a long time ago that pretty much in DOS you type setup <clears throat> and that will that should initialize setup
setup like it did before. And there we go. <laughs> hey! Son of a... Itch! Install now. And that's how you install Windows Setup over LAN. Pretty cool, huh? Alright, thanks for watching.